I like to discuss various orbit parameters in order to describe satellite communication. The first one will be ascending and descending node. What is this? Okay, so basically, firstly, you need to take a reference line. Usually, this is actually the equator of the Earth. So for ascending node, basically, the satellite will move from the south to the north. Basically, this is what we call the ascending. Simply, the satellite actually move outward. So therefore, we use this ascending node to describe the satellite. Next, on the other side, which is on the descending, okay, it's actually the reverse relationship of ascending nodes. So basically, the satellite actually move downward, which means that they actually move from north to south, and therefore, they actually has this descending node. The next parameters that I'm going to describe will be a pokey. Okay, so basically, what is actually a pokey? Okay, so a pokey point is actually the furthest away from Earth. So basically, you can see that this is actually satellite orbit around the Earth. So therefore, the furthest point from the Earth will be here to here, which is called the Apoki. Okay, so basically, the object at Apoki, they actually move the slowest because of this Kepler law. Next, okay, I'm going to describe Periki rule. What is actually Periki? Okay, so basically, Periki is the closest to the Earth. As you can see from this diagram here, this point is actually closest to the Earth. So this is what we know as Periki. The objects at the Peruki, they actually move the fastest since they are closest to the Earth. Next, I want to quickly establish what is called the line of X. Okay, so basically the line of X is basically a point that cut through the Apoki and also the center of the Earth and also the Peruki as it last week over here. So this green line is actually what we know as the lines of X. What is semi-major axis? Okay, as I define the lines of X right in between the line point here. Okay, basically from here to here, okay, basically this is what we know as the semi-major axis. Then you probably will be able to understand okay, what is called the elipicentric. Basically, it's the center of the point with the center of the Earth. This is what we denote as elipicentric city. Okay, so basically this is how we get the name A, which is the semi-major axis, and E, which is the Eurocentricity. Okay, so basically this is a quick discussion on all these three reference lines. Next, what is actually inclination? Okay, the inclination of a satellite usually okay, is actually refer to the angle between the orbit plane of the satellite and the reference plane. And again, most of the time the reference plane is actually the equator plane. As you can see, this blue color line, which is the equator plane, and this is basically how does the satellite actually orbit around the Earth. And the angle here, this is what we call the inclination. 